terracotta pots take on a character as they age, but today I thought I'd show you a technique that will uh, instantly give your terracotta pots an updated, distinctive look, just like the ones that you see here in the foreground. Uh, and these are not only the pots, but also the little saucers. And these pots have been embellished with some very nice braids around the rim. And also, once planted, this is a nice salad janella, um, you can uh, create out of just a, a hard clay that will, will harden without any firing. You can make your own little mushrooms like Kristen St. Clair made for me here. And it looks so cute in amidst this moss. I love how this looks. And they look great. Just put those, a whole little uh, row of those or a cluster on your terrace and uh, you'll get your friends talking and they'll all want to know where you got the pots. So you start off with uh, simple terracotta pots that you can get um, at Home Depot, at garden centers, whatever. These are very, very inexpensive, a dollar or so. And, um, and you also have to have some milk paint. This is uh, milk paint and it's called the color is driftwood. This is how it comes old-fashioned uh, the genuine homemade milk paint and um, uh, To use it uh, first It's a half a cup of water to a half a cup of the dry paint and I'm going to put some water into the bowl and here is a half a cup of um, Compacted uh, milk paint you can put this into a sifter like this, a little sieve, and uh, mix it up this way. You don't want any lumps in your paint, so run it through a sieve as, as you would for confection or sugar or something else in your kitchen. And you can push this through. It'll make a, a nice, smoother finish on your pots. And uh, it goes through very easily. And stir it up. I use um, these little inexpensive um, sponge brushes, too, that you get at the hardware store or the craft store. And just stir that up. You can see how easily it incorporates and mixes into the water. And you don't want to use the whole pack. That will do a lot of pot. So that's why I'm using only a half a cup of the um, milk paint. And those are those little sponge brushes. Very easy. Now the pot itself uh, can be embellished. You can paint it like this and it'll look fine. But if you take some um, traverse cord, this is the cord that you use to repair your Venetian blinds. You know, those Venetian blinds that break all the time. They're a pain in the neck. But this uh, thin cord, it's not clothesline. If you had giant pots, you could use clothesline, which is a little thicker in diameter. Uh, you can do a braid of a two-strand twist, just twist it together like this and use that. Or you can uh, braid it with three strands like this. That's a very beautiful braid. Or if you get a little fancy, you can do a four strand braid like that. Again, depending pretty much on the size of your pot. A hot glue gun will affix, paint the pot one coat first. And then using the hot glue gun, uh, just draw a bead of glue around the underside of the rim. Oh, I think I'll do the triple braid. And just stick that on like that. It adheres very nicely and will stay with no difficulty whatsoever. And the paint will um, cover up any excess blobs of glue. I like to use lots of glue because I do not want this coming off as you water your plants, etc. So you see what you do? That's that. And then you paint the whole thing. Uh, you can do one coat, um, then sand it a little bit with this rough paper. Just to, just, you make them different shades. You get it to look a little bit more aged. And you don't want to see brush strokes. And then, then paint another coat over the top. Driftwood is the perfect color. I don't know why it turned out to be that, but it is. Um, and paint all over, paint the, paint the rope itself. And, uh, and then again, if you want to make it even a little darker, you could let it dry and sand it again. But what an easy thing. And when you plant it, it's just an extraordinary thing. Uh, planting is easy. Oh, if you want to keep these outdoors, uh, use a crystal clear um, matte painter's um, touch. Uh, this is a sealer, it protects, it revitalizes, and it's made by Rust-Oleum. It's a very nice product. And that's it, you have a fantastic thing. Look at all the different colors here in the foreground. White for a white terrace, all the different, I like the pale blue, that looks very nice in a, in a little Swedish-inspired uh, patio.